Hi, I'm Pastor Berger. Why are we so moved by those stories like Beauty and the Beast, where true love undoes the curse that has fallen on the castle and turned everyone into grotesque versions of who they once were? And Sleeping Beauty, where only a noble prince can awaken Aurora from her enchanted sleep? Or even Avengers Endgame, when Iron Man knows that there's only one way he can save countless people in the universe from annihilation, and he chooses it even though it means he will die. Or even Christmas stories like The Grinch, where the ultimately big-hearted Grinch, the rejected, despised one, ends up saving Christmas for all of Whoville. Those stories stir us because we want to believe that good conquers evil, that true love saves the day, that we can be rescued from the most hopeless of circumstances, that there is a selfless hero out there somewhere willing to make even the ultimate sacrifice for us, and that there is a happy ever after ending to life. The story of Christmas checks all those boxes of longing in our hearts even better than any of the other stories. The hero is God, come to undo the curse of our sin, to overcome the evil tyrants, death and the devil, and sin, to save his people at the cost of his own life, so that all of us can live happily ever after with him in heaven. But here's the problem. There's tons of stories like that out there, and we call them fairy tales, because they're not true or real. Ah, but here is happy surprise number five of Christmas. The story is historically and factually true. See, Luke, a doctor, a smart guy in a field where you have to deal with the facts of your patient's health, checked out the story of Jesus' entire life and said this at the beginning of his gospel. He said, many have undertaken to draw up an account of the things that have been fulfilled among us, just as they were handed down to us by those who from the first were eyewitnesses and servants of the word. With this in mind, since I myself have carefully investigated everything from the beginning, I too decided to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the certainty of the things you have been taught. See, there's a reason God foretold in great deal, in dozens of prophecies, who the Savior would be, where he would live, and what he would do. There's a reason why Jesus conducted his ministry and died publicly, leaving behind eyewitnesses, including over 500 eyewitnesses that saw him alive after his resurrection. So you could be certain that what you want to believe is certain. The fifth happy surprise of Christmas. So you could be certain that all of God's promises to you in Christ are always sure and certain. I encourage you to listen to Behold a Branch is Growing, another classic Christmas hymn that affirms that the best we can hope for from God is indeed true and reliable in Christ.